Hey everybody, back with another unboxing, this time of the Chewy Chewy Lapbook. So this is uh, one of the high-end devices that are inspired by the MacBook Air, obviously. So it has an Intel Apollo Lake 3450, 8 gigs of RAM, that should be good. Because um, I'm a fan of Chewy's devices, I've actually been using this for my as my work machine for a while, this is the Chewy 12.3. It's an excellent budget laptop, you know, really nice build quality, although the bezels are a little bit big. But I used this for my work device for like two months before I switched over to this. This is the Chewy Surbook. So um, I like this better because it's, it's a tablet that can also work as a laptop. And it's a little bit lighter and thinner than that laptop I just showed you. So this is a Chewy 12 point uh, Surbook. So I've been using this. A lot too. So basically, all the work I do on Forbes and SCMP, it's it's been on a Chewy laptop. So I'm excited to unbox this. Another, this is the newest and probably best Chewy uh, laptop or device yet. So this is a bigger packaging than usual. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, right off the bat, I I can feel that this is a lot sturdier. Than previous Chewy laptop, so Ooh, look at this sleeve is pretty tight. Okay, okay. Wow, this is nice. It's thin. It's uh, let's compare it really quick to the Chewy 12.3. Okay, so I guess the, the lap book is only a little bit thinner, not as much as I thought, but it feels very thin. I think it's because it's taped it off right here. So what do we have here? This is probably a CD-ROM. Nope, it's not. It's a warranty paper, and this is the charging brick. So yeah, laptop unboxing is not as exciting as a smartphone unboxing. Okay, I like that the charging brick is uh, relatively small. And then you have here a, this is a European plug, I believe. Wow, this is, okay. So that's it, very bare bones in terms of packaging. So now let's open up the device. Oh, wow, okay. The screen, okay, you can still see the bezels, but they're slimmer. The bezels are definitely slimmer than the other Chewy devices I've had, so. Okay, this is nice. Okay, so this laptop is actually the Chewy Lapbook Air. It has a 14.1 inch 16 by 9 aspect, a 14.1 inch display with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. and. Only 1080p resolution, so slightly disappointing considering other Chewy devices I've used had like a 2K or even a 3K resolution. But but you know what, 1080p is actually good enough for for laptops. There's a 10,000 milliamp battery inside, so it should be enough to last me a workday. So so the keys feel really good. It's it's a lot more comfortable to type on than than my. Ah, it's a lot more comfortable to type on than, than the keyboard here. This is the the cert book. Although I'm liking how thin this looks. Trap path feels very responsive. So anyway, I'm going to take this out, do some work with it, and come back with my hands on. Hey everybody, I'm back. So I used the Chewy Lapbook Air out all day as my work device. And man, I'm liking a lot, considering that this laptop is going to cost less than 400 bucks. So first, the build quality of this laptop, it's, it's great. It obviously, it's inspired by the MacBook Air, you know, aluminum shell, and the keyboard is very spacious, the trap pad is excellent, everything just feels very premium. Even the bezels around the screen, it's smaller than on previous Chewy devices. So under the hood, you have an Intel Celeron N3450, which is an Apollo Lake chip, so that's a mid-tier chipset.
but it has 8 gigs of RAM and I've been using this chipset for for like most of 2017 now and other Chewy devices to do work and all that and it's fine. Now granted I'm not a gamer and I don't do video editing on a laptop so that means if you need to do those things you might need a more expensive laptop but if you just go on Facebook, send emails, surf the web, watch YouTube, this is more than enough. The one area of concern is that even though this laptop has 128 gigs of storage, it is the sluggish eMMC storage. So when you're transferring data, it's going to be a bit slower than on like my Dell XPS 13, which has a, obviously a much superior drive. So the display you're looking at, it's a 14 inch display and it's only 1080p resolution. So technically it's not as pixel dense as previous Chewy devices, but it looks good enough for me. So there's a 10,000 milliamp battery inside that Chewy says can last about eight hours. And I, from my testing so far, it seems about accurate because I used this at a coffee shop for about three hours and I lost about like 35% battery life. So that seems about eight hours. Now, granted, I was not watching videos. I was doing uh, word processing and sending emails. So overall, the package weighs about three pounds. So it's quite portable. Everything is very sturdy. So in terms of port, on the right side of the device, you have a headphone jack and two USB 3.0. And on the left side, you have an HDMI slot for output, a DC charge, because this, um, I wish it charges with USB-C, but no, it charges with DC, and a TF card slot. So you do have stereo speakers uh, on this laptop, but it's unfortunately underneath at the bottom. So... I, the sound might be a little bit muffled, but let's give it a quick test. So right now this is 50% volume. So now we're at like 100% volume right now. But obviously, if you're familiar with my videos, there can be no test without watching some K-pop, so... So right now this is 40% volume, it's a little bit uh, soft, so let's go up to 100. So the sound is pretty good, although it's, it's kind of lacking bass. So let's check out one more, now this is a bass heavy beat. Yeah, so the bass is pretty weak on the speaker, I, I can't hear much right now. So as mentioned earlier, the keyboard is really good. There's a lot of travel. Um, the only complaint I have is that the shift key, it's a little bit short, I wish it was longer. It's because it's, um, it has to make room for these page up and down buttons, which I don't need. But you know, other people might need, so I, I guess I can't complain. You do get, you know, obviously volume control, brightness control, and, and a video playback button. So let's check out the brightness really quick. So right now, all the way down zero okay that's really dim and you go up to this is about 50 percent and now 100 percent. so i used this outdoors earlier there is a little bit of glare but it's bright enough i also love the trackpad because it's accurate for one thing but also i love that it doesn't have that stupid swipe gestures like i hate on other laptops that Chewy laptops particularly, when I swipe from the right, it brings up that stupid control center, which I don't like. I just want my trackpad, trackpad to be spacious and accurate. So right now, scrolling, it's very easy. It's very accurate. Moving the mouse around, I'm not getting false touches. You are able to tap, tap on a trackpad to click. I am a fan of that when it works. If it doesn't work, it's kind of annoying, so... Yep, it works really well. I'm not, and I'm not getting accidental taps when I'm swiping, like moving, moving up my finger through the trackpad. Mm. So overall, the Chewy Lapbook Air, it's it's looking excellent. I believe you can pre-order on Gearbest now, starting at just three hundred and forty bucks. So other than the sluggish, um, the sluggish storage for data transfers, I mean, for three hundred and forty bucks, this is a really damn good laptop, man. Thanks for watching.